What if I told you that you could deploy a serverless, cloud-hosted REST API in as little as three clicks? Let's do it. Welcome back. If you're new to my channel and you want to grow your IT career and your IT skills, you're in the right place. Just hit that subscribe button. It's free. And then hit that little bell so that you can get alerted when new videos become available. All right. If you follow me at all on Twitter or any of the other social media platforms that I'm on, you know that I'm absolutely in love with Azure and Azure Logic Apps. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Azure Logic Apps really are one of the best kept secrets in all of IT. The basic gist of them is that when an action happens, some form of trigger that kicks off a workflow. It's very similar to IFTTT, if this then that, where two dis disparate resources that weren't designed to communicate to each other uh, can now communicate to each other thanks to triggers and actions. So a perfect example, something really basic in Azure Logic Apps are if I receive an email that has an attachment, automatically download it to my OneDrive. Those are two separate tools that are now linked together thanks to a trigger and an action and an event. So in this video, we're gonna cover how you can build a REST API using Logic Apps in just a few clicks. Here we go. Getting started with Azure and Azure Logic Apps is just as simple as going to portal.azure.com and setting up your free account. They even give you a trial for the first month where you get up to a $200 credit so that you can try a bunch of different Azure things out. Logic Apps are not an exception to that. Logic Apps, in fact, are one of the cheapest offerings in all of Azure. Check out the usage rates for your region, though, to make sure that you're not going to go crazy and, you know, spin up too many resources. All right, I'm going to get signed in. And as it logs in, it lands me on the Azure dashboard here where I can see a bunch of resources that I've already created. My subscription's already up and running. All that's left is to create my Logic App. So to do that, I'm going to click on Create a Resource right here, and I'm going to go to Logic App. You see it right here at the bottom here, Logic App. That's what I want to do. It says you want to create a Logic App. I'll click Create. And all there is to creating a Logic App resource is to give it a name. I'll call this Knox's rest demo something simple like that you choose the subscription that you want to dump it in and if you already have a resource group this is just a logical way to group my azure resources together uh, you can either create one new right here by giving it a name or use an existing resource group for instance i've got one called logic apps well that makes perfect sense and it runs in the central u.s data center you can see all of the different regions where they run but I'll leave everything here the same. All I've done is given it a name, chosen a subscription, and which group do I want to dump it into? I'll click Create, and in just a few seconds, my Logic App will be created. I'll actually click Deployment in Progress up here at the top so that we can see it get created. Oh, look at that. <laughs> there was no editing here. It was deployed that quickly. It took just a second, and if I click on the little bell here, I can see Deployment Succeeded. Go to Resource is now an option for me. So I'll click Go to Resource and it dumps me into the Logic Apps Designer, this is where I'll say the clicks started. We'll actually count that first click right there when I click Go to Resource. That'll be my first click. So if I scroll down, you can see things like what are the common triggers when a new tweet is posted, when a new file is created on OneDrive, when an email is received in Outlook, or do I want this just to recur on a regular schedule? A lot of these things, in fact, pretty much all of these things are covered in our Azure Logic Apps skills and courses on CBT Nuggets. In fact, I even have a nugget where we took hashtag, it listened to hashtags on Twitter and streamed the tweet data into a Power BI dashboard. It was really, really cool and really fun to shoot that. But as promised, we're here to talk about how to build a REST API using these logic apps, and the trigger will be when an HTTP request is received. The idea is that we will receive some sort of JSON payload and that will kick off a workflow down the road. So let me clear the screen and let's click when an HTTP request is received. So that's the second click. We've gone to the resource and we've clicked which trigger we want, which an HTTP request is received. If we had a sample payload here, because we knew we were going to get the same JSON payload every time, we could paste in the, the schema right here to generate the payload. Uh, but since I don't, since I'm not really sure what my JSON payload is going to be right now, I can create my REST API by simply clicking save. And do you see what happened? Right here on the screen, it generated the URL for my Azure Logic app for what's going to be my REST API. 
So I could right now copy this to the clipboard and test this out with a tool like Postman. So I'm gonna do just that. Let me drag Postman onto the screen. There we go. I've got a post request set up here. I'm just gonna paste my URL in that it just created. See, it's a pretty long URL because it's got some connection strings and some parameters in there. Uh, and then I'm gonna post in this sample payload here. This payload comes from Cisco Meraki. This is a Cisco Meraki webhook. So I've set my body here to be raw and JSON so it knows it's gonna be posting in a JSON payload to that URL. Let me save my little project here, click send, and there we go. We've got a 202 accepted response. How can I verify that this actually worked and that the payload was received? Let me jump back to the Azure portal here. Right here at the top, I'll navigate back to my REST demo option. If I refresh, well, I see a succeeded message here from my previous runs. If I click on that previous run, we'll see the history of what was run. If I click on what the request was, well, there it is. There's the payload that I sent in right there. So the idea now is that I can take that payload, that was the trigger and it sent that payload in. I can now kick off a workflow using anything that's in Azure Logic Apps. It could maybe send an email. It could check to validate that the data was working. I could write it to SQL Server. I could stream it into Power BI. I could even tweet about it. All of these things are covered in the Azure Logic Apps series on CBT Nuggets. So I'd really encourage you to check out in the description below the places where you can learn more about Azure Logic Apps, because like I say, it's my favorite tool. It's one of my favorite tools that have ever been created. Thank you, Microsoft, for giving us this amazingly powerful way to develop automated workflows. So that's been how you can deploy the easiest REST API that you've ever created. Thanks for stopping by, y'all. I'll see you in the next one.